Ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you guys know something. This document right here was with regards to the Fedwire asking them to settle your account, you know, the money order thing, the bill of exchange. The original one said 2020, uh, 2018. Okay, I think it was 4, 5, 2018, April 5th, 2018. When I say that I've been doing this for a while, um, there are people who have been talking about that as of late. See, this is the bill of exchange. A bill of exchange or registered bill of exchange is received by a taxpayer authorizing the campus to settle their accounts. Well, mine, don't do this. Mine was for $500 billion, and so was the money order the bill of exchange that was sent with it. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all can't do it that way. That they they don't like that. That's why they took and put me inside the pinky. But they didn't say that was what it was for. <laughs> anyway, this is to let you guys know that this is for you to copy and to make more reasonable. And if you use this with your pay attention, 1041 ES for your estate and your trust, or 1040 for your sole proprietorship along with the Schedule C, then you can pay off your taxes in advance. Now, I had, I've already had some people do this. I want to say something, but I can't because I don't want to bring anything their way. I kept telling them that this was already done, that this has already been done. What I did is I just changed the date and made it current. But we had done this before. The old address that was on it was the Veterans Memorial address. Okay? This is what we did way back in 2018. Okay? I didn't change anything else up but stuff like the name and all of that stuff so you guys can go ahead and edit it. The link will be in the description. Okay? Bill of Exchange to the IRS is what this will be called. Hey, have a good day. Read the read the rules, people. Go over the procedure. Don't just do it just to be doing it. Understand why you're doing it before you do it. Lord, have mercy.